Well, you know, name, image, and likeness to me is a great concept for players. Um, players have always been allowed to work. Uh, this is just a different opportunity for them to make money by working and using their own name, image, and likeness, whether it's signing autographs, whether it's doing commercials or ads for some company or whatever. What you're about to see is the old guard of college athletics lose their minds with NIL. The thing that I fear is at some point in time, they're just going to say we're going to have to pay players. If we start paying players, we're going to have to eliminate sports. Wait, wait, wait. So if colleges pay players, sports will just go poof and disappear? That's the argument? And this is, this is all bad for college sports because they've been able to get scholarships and participate in college athletics. That's what college athletics is supposed to be. It's not supposed to be something where people come and make money. Now let's just make the obvious point. Nick Saban is handsomely paid as Alabama's head football coach. He's up there with the likes of Bear Bryant and all-time greatness. His salary has ballooned year to year with Pro Football Network laying out the deets. It's quite rich that a man who makes $10 million per year is suddenly barking at Gen Z for valuing financials. And you make a decision about where you go to school based on how much money you're gonna make. You should make a decision based on where you have the best chance to develop as a person, as a student, and as a player, which is what we've always tried to major in. No, 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 no. What Saban is doing is something that Tim Tebow has done. I think my jersey was one of the top selling jerseys around the world. Uh, it was like Kobe, LeBron, and then I was right behind them, and I didn't make a dollar from it, but nor did I want to. Who is the ultimate cheerleader while also not needing the money while playing will say something similar to NCAA Commissioner Mark Emmert. There's not even a salary to debate. They're not employees, they're students. And even Jay-Z's guy, Van Jones. But if you're talking about college students, it seems to me that the point of them being there is for them to get in those books and learn. Now you got a kid who's more concerned about their contract than their final exams. Have all said the same shtick, yet continue to defer from the obvious. The NCAA is loaded, and the gatekeepers continue to defend the business that brings in $14 billion annually. The money is there. They just don't want to share it. It's basically the Chappelle show meme where he's in the crown and hugs the money. That's Saban and company. I know the consequence is going to be difficult for the people who are spending tons of money to get players. And you've read about them. You know who they are. I mean, we were second in recruiting last year. a and was first. a and bought every player on their team. Made a deal for name, image, and likeness. All right, we didn't buy one player. Hmm. Not one. Former NFL DN and Florida State Seminole Travis Johnson went after Saban in Alabama, saying, and I quote, y'all was NIL before NIL. Then, longtime NFL corner Antonio Cromartie wrote he was offered $60,000 just to come to campus for a visit, adding, they've been paying for years. Longtime NFL defensive end Sean Smith even spoke on it. Saban really opened up this can of worms, and he can't close the lid. However, head coach of Texas A&M, Jimbo Fisher, well, he responded. We never bought anybody. No rules were broken. It's despicable that a reputable head coach could come out and say this when he doesn't get his way or things don't go his way. The narcissist in him doesn't allow those things to happen. And it's ridiculous, but when, when he's not on top. And the parody in college football he's been talking about, go talk to coaches who coach for him. You'll find out all the parody. Go dig into wherever he's been. You can find out anything. Just a quick note. These two do have history. At LSU, Jimbo Fisher coached under Nick Saban from 2000 to 2004. Here's the part that Saban left out of his rant, though. Texas A&M was using those third-party NIL collectives to pay players, allegedly, because Texas law allows for that to happen. Until January, Alabama had a state law regulating NIL so that boosters couldn't be involved. The idea that Saban was somehow being noble by not helping to pay recruits smells of gaslighting fiction. Auburn would have turned Alabama in for breaking state law and vice versa. Alabama and Auburn had the NIL Act regulate the industry repealed from state law, the legislature just tossed it out in the name of Alabama state schools keeping up with the Joneses. Saban, however, continued ranting. We have a rule right now that says you cannot use name, image, and likeness to entice a player to come to your school. Hell, read about it in the paper. 
I mean, Jackson State paid a guy a million dollars last year that was a really good Division I player to come to school. It was in the paper, and they bragged about it. Nobody did anything about it. Here, Saban is referring to Deion Sanders, head coach at Jackson State and HBCU, and their recruit, Travis Hunter, who shocked the college football world by spurning Prime's alma mater, Florida State, for JSU. The deal Saban may be referring to is an alleged $1 million NIL deal he received. Hunter, however, wrote in response, I got a mill? But my mom still stays in a three-bedroom house with five kids? As we go through this new era of college athletics, Remember the facts that led up to where we are today. Last summer, the Supreme Court upheld a lower court ruling that said limiting education-related benefits violated antitrust laws. In the wake of that decision, the NCAA adopted rules that were far less restrictive, including allowing athletes to profit from their name, image, and likeness. NCAA rules prohibit a school or its employees only from paying athletes directly for their NIL rights. I mean, these guys at Miami that are going to play basketball there for $400,000, it's in the newspaper. The guy tells you how he's doing it. Just, again, context. Saban's comments on Miami referred to former Kansas State men's basketball player Nigel Pack who transferred to the Canes in April. Shortly after, it was announced that he signed a two-year $400,000 NIL deal with Florida-based health tech company LifeWallet, wrote ESPN. College football coaching, historically, hasn't been a finger-pointing profession because everyone has always understood the deal. Under no circumstances could the black market system of paying recruits be discussed or even acknowledged, wrote AL.com's Joseph Goodman. Clearly, the rules have changed. Saban now apparently wants to use the media as a check to balance a system so broken that it uses boosters to pay players through third-party slush funds because the schools will not just do the right thing and cut in the guys on the field. When it comes to Saban, just always know this one thing above all others. There is always an agenda, and that agenda is being able to recruit the best football players to the University of Alabama. Saban has failed to do that over the last year, and he's mad. To be honest, Saban sounded a little scared. I'm just not sure if he fears his grip is slipping on coaching football, or if he's afraid this new change to the system will force him to tighten his death grip once and for all.